Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! A place that I have passed by a couple of times was the lovely House of Badges on the second floor of Rogueport here, which I've kind of been avoiding going to because I don't plan on buying stuff there for a while. But I guess I'll show it off now because I'd like to sell a badge to get some coinages for the future. Welcome, welcome! Feel free to look around! So yeah, there's... Uh, well, I'll talk to him first. A build, welcome to you! Welcome to the lovely House of Badges! Welcome! So what can I do for you? I am selling badges. Uh, badges that you sell, you can get back from him later, but you'll have to pay a little bit more for them. It's basically a badge selling and reselling place, and his stock also um, restocks itself after you... Um, leave town and come back again. It's similar to Charlton's shop back at the uh, entrance to Rogueport. Uh, no thanks. So yeah, you can sell stuff here and get it back if you would like, because he'll resell it a little bit later if you ever want a badge back that you sold, but you probably won't if you're selling it anyway. <laughs> like, you would probably be selling badges that you don't uh, really need. Anyway, I'll say I'm buying this time. And special deals. If you're looking for special deals, you'll find them on that shelf. Otherwise, stand in front of the badge you want and press A. So yeah, there's these. All right, now, as I said, this stuff rotates and there are exclusive badges that you can get here, just like the badges, uh, ex just like exclusives at Charlton as well. So I'm not really gonna cover which ones are exclusive just yet because I feel I'm gonna be spoiling stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna hold off the, on that until later, yeah. Uh, uh, you can also buy other badges by selecting others, and he's got a bunch of stuff to get here, and yeah, and as you see, the uh, um, Attack FXR badge that I just sold is already up for sale there. So yeah. Anyway, let's get out of here and talk to this guy. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Okay. I was holding off on talking to him as well. Uh, until I bought this, just so that when I talked to him, what he would say would be in context. <laughs> anyway, now I got the contact lens, and I can visit the west side of town. Yes, I did. Hmm? A contact lens? Oh, sweet relief! Thank you! Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see! Oh, I'm so happy! Heart. And then she goes back in the house. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. She still looks ornery. <laughs> uh, and upon doing so, you unlocked a little something something that you can do here. Oh, so it's you again, huh? Mr. Stompalot. Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Oh, you whip up something for you right now? Hmm... Uh... This is another thing that I don't really feel like covering right now, just because there's a lot to cover with it. But basically, you can combine ingredients, ingredients being items, into various things, and you can get uh, other things from them. Anyway, let's go and start this side of town. And there's a star piece right here, so do not forget about that. Um, star piece right here, don't forget about that. Uh, uh, Sorry, I'd get these out of the way before I forget. There's another star piece there. All right, now let's start chatting with people. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Madam Flurry! Yeah, I'm such a huge fan! I can't believe I saw you here! So it appears that she's Madame Flurry's number one fan. <laughs> Seems like the characters in this game all seem to have fans scattered across the world, don't they? Mm -hmm. Uh, yet another day dwindles by while I loaf in bed. By loafing in bed, you mean standing in your bed? Uh, doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery today, but... Yeah, I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh, well. I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. <laughs> you could have gave that prize to charity or something then, at least. Arr! And I'm gonna go over to this house. This is actually kind of funny, because this continues on into a, another place later, you'll see. Uh, let me, th there we go. Mom just plays games all day long. She never, she doesn't have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. Yeah, I gotta have a balance in life. Uh, there's a hole here. Remember that for later. See a little rectangle there? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my wife spends all day in the parlor. So I never get anywhere in my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Me too. 
Me too. That does sound like something that is fun. Um, talk to him. Uh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Roadport. Ah, it is beautiful. Even though there's still crime left and right wherever you go. <laughs> uh, this pipe is actually an exit from somewhere else. So you don't have to worry about that pipe hiding something in particular. I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to, too, all too well. And I don't want to go there. You can fall down that grate if you do that. But I'm going to save that for later, if you don't mind. Dampianta? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to see him, ask the rabble boss on the east side about him. Yeah, I bet Ishnail will know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. Okay, over here... Dun -dun 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 -dun! Every day is a lucky day with the happy lucky lottery! That is a huge ba bomb <laughs> With new members every day, this lottery is fun and exploding with excitement! I'd love to tell you more. Uh, tell me more! That's the way! Happy Lucky Lottery is so special! You pick numbers, they might win each day! Just pick, just buy numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. And check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If, you draw, if your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize! Each day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board each day, you'll eventually, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. <laughs> Yeah, a little fourth wall break. If you're playing this on the Wii, because you know game, uh, Wii can play GameCube games, it'll of course be based off of the Wii's internal clock. So go ahead, buy a new number. Only 10 coins to new customers. Okie dokie. I'd like to get this set up. And my number is 9219. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right now to see if you won. Okie dokie. Yep. Happy lucky lottery board. A bomb lottery the rules, all numbers match is the jackpot, second prize three numbers, uh, third prize two numbers, fourth prize one number. Today's winning number is... Five... <laughs> Nothing matches. But you do get a consolation prize. <sighs> which is the mushroom, which will replace the one that I got um, from earlier. I mean, that I gave on to, or gave earlier for that uh, side quest. Mm -hmm. The boss told me to look after this place. You anything funny? I'll toss you all like that. Okay, Mr. Bouncer, let's go in the Pianta Parlor and see what's up. I'm not going to play any of the games here because I'd like to conserve my coins for something that I'll uh, show you a little bit later. Uh, you'll see why. In fact, it's going to be in this part. I love checking my scores in the machine after playing games. I'm here all day! What, my family is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're happy doing their own things. <laughs> yeah, so they're complaining about her. Remember that uh, family at the other house to the right? Yep, that's the one they're complaining about. Hey, how you doing? What, me? I'm on top of the world, baby. Yeah, I'm just fan goomba -tastic. So if you check the high scoreboard, it'll kind of spoil stuff, but at the same time, it doesn't spoil stuff for later on in the game because it tells you... Uh, various stuff there right now, so it's technically not a spoiler because the game is telling you. <laughs> Instead of coins, they use Pianta tokens here. You can get one Pianta for three coins in this changer, right here. But you can't change Piantas back to coins, understand? Okie dokie. Oh, are you? A card? You've got a member's card? Okay, I'll prepare the minigame. You can play with that member's card. How exciting! Yeah, that's the card that I got from one of the uh, side quests that I did last part, and I can now play the playing game, which I'm not going to play now. But uh, if you do have winnings, or if you've just bought a bunch of Pianta coins, you can get stuff that can't be found anywhere else, like cake mix and all sorts of goodies here that I'm not going to buy right now, because, yeah, as I said, I want to conserve my coins, but yeah, here's the... Pianta Changer, this is actually kind of funny. I am the Pianta Changer, changing machine. I am called the Pianta Changer. Yeah, it actually talks to you like tech. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? Not right now. Thank you very much. Come again. And... You have no Piantas. Get some Piantas first! Man, that's some ornery slot machine, I swear. So yeah, I'm not going to do that now. going to do it later. Um, over here is a shop. Let's go... Wait, hold on a sec. Stop it! I remembered it! Okay, now let's go in the shop. <laughs> There's a couple of new stuff here that you might want to pick up. Uh, got some new dialogue. Hi there, cutie! 
welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? Same things, basically. Um, Vault Shroom is new. Basically, it makes it so that when enemies touch you, they'll take damage. I'll show you how that works later. You already know what a Life Shroom is. Um, uh, I don't think I got one of these before, even though it's pretty much like a Thunder Rage except for one enemy. Uh, but I'll show that off anyway. I'm going to store some stuff here because I actually need to... Um, have the room in my inventory. I'll keep that Ultra Shroom in there as well. As I said, they're just way too good uh, this early in the game, but I have such low stats. Okay, the other stuff is fine, so let's get out of here and let's go in the back of town. Yeah, through here because there's a, a bit of dialogue that I can show you um, before moving on. Save block there if you want it. This blimp goes to Glitzville. I mean, I would love to go to Glitzville. Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. I'm awfully sorry, but you must have a ticket to board a blimp. No free tours today. <laughs> so yeah, that's the place that you go to uh, Glitzville. And over here is, I tell you, I just like standing here gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. <laughs> so if I were to ride, I would get, wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it better, but if I could afford a ticket, I might ride it once. Well, maybe one day I'll be able to ride this too. This train is bound for luxurious, partially heights. Let me bore you today. Hmm. Yeah, you need a ticket here too. Alas. Alas. Uh, uh, this is why I came here. Uh, there we go. Star Beast! Yeah! Uh, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in this space. I would, wow, the thought of it all, I just love it! Me too, me too, maybe we will ride that one day. Lakitu, I, t I tell you, I just like standing here gazing at the, uh, no, no, wait, oh, I already talked to you, why did I do that? <laughs> Sometimes, I swear. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go over to the east side of town now, thanks to that tip that we heard. Because, if you might have noticed, there were some footprints leading to a little tiny space in between the buildings that you might be able to slip through, and I'm getting kind of annoying, so I'll stop that now. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, you gotta flip into sideways paper mode to get between the buildings to make some progress. Oh yeah, that looks kind of silly, their body's kind of going inside. The buildings, there we go. Don't forget about this right here, yes. Hello, me. My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the Robles, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and I'm now an amazing thief. <laughs> well, um, okay, that, that sounds, uh, lovely, yes. <laughs> Um, there's a panel over here which you can't really do anything about at the moment, but... Oh, yes! You can do this now. Well, sort of, you can do this now, just to, to show you something. Whoa, what's the meaning of this? You found my secret way in? Dang. Look, a lot of us, uh, shall we say, sketchy requests get submitted here. So don't tell anyone that, that we're the ones running the Trouble Center, okay? <laughs> So yeah, the Robbles are actually running the Trouble Center. Isn't that interesting? That uh, a group, uh, like a gang, is running the Trouble Center. You can't get that now, by the way. You can get that later, though. But yeah, I always found that kind of funny. That these guys are running it. Um, hey, we don't have much here. But, if, but make yourself at home if you want. Talk this one. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no whooping. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win. But when you lose, you're all, way. Yeah, that's Gus. <laughs> the guy I defeated near the end, the last part. Anyway, you want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robble Thieves. You lost. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. Aha uh -huh. is basically him saying, I want to talk to Don Pianta. <laughs> you want to meet that lion, cheating, no good, jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us, and the poor as dirt. Never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Yes, indeed, Liu. And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us, too? Yeah. You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Yes, indeed, I must. 
Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins, and this is why I needed to save my coins. <laughs> and no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey. Them's the brakes. Okie dokie. Uh, looks like he's getting a little excited, so I'll just turn him down here. What? Are you gonna pay me or are you not gonna pay me? Make up your mind. <laughs> Come back once you get your priority straight, chumpy. I uh, got anything else to say if I choose no to the first one? Just wanna see that feel funny. Uh, see if it's funny, forget you, pal. What? No, fine, I get it, don't wanna pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. <laughs> so, okay, let's let's just pay him the pocket change that he wants. Yes, here you go. Yes! I mean, oh, a good, a good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. I think that's a reference to the Nintendo 64. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. It's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the Pianta parlor. Buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? Got it. You do that, and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. You got that? Not green. Not blue, yellow, you hear me? See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's also comfy office. You got all that? Yes. And let's talk to him again. Nope, same thing. Just wanted to see if he had anything different to say there. Alright, let's go back over to that shady shop now, shall we? I knew we couldn't trust this place. Alright, so let's buy dried shroom. Dizzy dial. Here we go. You saved up enough. Up. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was gonna say uh, the thing. You know, the thing she's supposed to say. I'm being stalled here. You know what you were? This ice storm. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's all right, mighty Mister. What color is your mu what? Uh, am I supposed to say yellow? I'll say black though. Well, you know what? No. I'll say yellow. I think her dialogue changes depending on what you pick. Oops, uh, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. <laughs> uh, well, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianda. Good for you. Like I said, there's a lot of dialogue in this game that you probably aren't seeing based off of all the choices that you can make in this game, so make your own choices and see what you can find in this game just for the fun of it. Alright, so... Can I speak with you? Mm, okay, wait, actually, shouldn't I store some of this stuff? Because I'm gonna... Uh, I'd like to make some room here. I already used the ice storm before, so I'll save that for later. Got one dizzy dial in my inventory, so I'm good. Okay, so let's go up through here. Uh, anything here? I don't recall there being such a thing around here. I'm just kind of stalling with my words there just for the fun of it as I do uh, crown pounds. Yeah, anyway, here's Don Pianta's place. The music changes. <laughs> hey, this is the office of Don the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. I kind of do. That's why I'm here. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got beep, spit it out quickly, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me. You wanna? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me that's funny. You stand? You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don pa Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on the rail, boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. Just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? Not any crime. So, we talk. You boys can wait till we're done here, before you rough him. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? Yes. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't that those in the that legend about that ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Watch your tongue. Don't listen to that lot. The treasure is as real as I am. 
And by the way, that dialogue would be different depending on which partner you have out as well. So yeah, switch partners around, try different things than what I'm doing. Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell ya, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them th and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. <laughs> Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? Uh, no, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. Uh, I, I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. <laughs> Love their dialogue. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So, it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. Hmm. And just so we're clear, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound too good, but we have two people to find, of which I think I'm going to find in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.